Okay, BTHV1, we're back working on the tractor. And I've got the steering column pulled apart. I, uh, when you steer, used to steer the tractor, you, this uh, steering wheel would bounce around like this, right like that. So I took the steering wheel off and I found this bushing which is supposed to sit in there like that like that was actually under this there's supposed to be something through that hole like a cotter pin to hold that from popping out this bushing was actually so hard to do with a camera in your hand There we go. It was actually floating up like this, causing this shaft to roll. And if you look there, the, a the actual shaft has got a wear mark in it from rotating around like that. And now, with that hole being oblong right through here, even with the bushing in, it is still has a fair bit of slack because the shaft has worn uh, an oblong shape in, <laughs> into the column right here. So I'm just trying to figure out what I should do. Uh, I don't know if one solution, albeit be to weld this bushing in, and then you wouldn't have the slack at the back like that. And when they're all done, we will still put this cotter pin through like that to hold it. So the whole problem was, was that there was no cotter pin put in place. BTH, we went over and out. I'll show you what the result is when we're done. Well, we're going to do a steering wheel alignment on this John Deere tractor. The bolt through the steering wheel is, uh, we'll say east and west. And originally, when I took this apart, the hole that matches up to it was north and south. So now I've got this set pretty close to east and west, and I've got the gearing underneath lined up. There's a, uh, well, I might as well show you. There's a pin right there. There is a, a dot on the top of that gear, and it goes on to that shaft right there. And if you'll see, Maybe we can change the light a little bit. Right there, there's a dot on the main gear drive for the steering, and those two dots are supposed to line up. But when we do that, the tires are turning to the left. And I noticed that it turned better to the left than to the right. And we're going to realign that gear up in there, hard to see, so that when everything is lined up, our tires aren't turning left like they are right there. So it looks like one or two cogs will do it. And uh, that's how we're going to solve this problem. Sorry for the shakiness, but it, it was good to get it on camera. Well, it's BTHV1 here. Uh, we have solved the slack steering shaft problem. Uh, I was going to weld this, but then I thought it wouldn't be removable. So I ended up just putting a self-tapping screw in the bottom of that to take up the slack. And uh, we'll put the steering wheel on now and see if it, it's, it's just beautifully tight. And we'll see if it stays. So anyway, it's now uh, has the ability to do maintenance on that particular shaft. And the horizontal or the, the uh, hole in the shaft is now at east-west. And same as the steering wheel, as you can see. And we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, BTH V1. We are now sitting there with a steering wheel straight. The wheels are straight. It can turn to the right and it'll turn a little further to the right than it used to. And we can turn to the left a lot more because they say when you cut around trees you should turn to the left. I read that in the book. Yeah, I'm a man who read the instructions. So now I've still got my uh, RV battery on board until I actually spring for some cash money to uh, do the rest. So on my list, uh, we have loose tie rod ends down here. You can 
see that one there and this one's pretty loose too now I'm not quite sure how we're going to amend that uh, I did not find anywhere how to adjust the brakes so we might just have to muck along excuse me with the uh, brakes the way they are I don't like that but she's really common uh, since I greased up the steering and tightened up the front end she's she just feels a lot better so I'm just waiting for this rain shower to stop and then I'm gonna go park it outside unfortunately for that old tractor she's coming down in cats and dogs so anyway Graham thank you again and uh, BTH we won't overnight